yo 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 what is up it is black ninja in this business what the hell is going on guys like i just said it's black ninja this is another episode of my road to pc gaming series once again we are playing black light retribution and uh yeah the fail of the day is coming up here actually the fail of the motherfucking century is coming up watch this guys i'm just gonna let you guys watch this out wait it out here we go i use my hrv see that dude i'm like oh shit oh shit oh free kill Oh, nope, nope, nope. See his friend. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, two of them? I run all the way around the corner. Around both corners, basically. And I still die. And then look at the guy next to me. Watch. To the left. Boom! You saw that shit? When I saw that, I was like... I didn't see that at the time when I was playing. Because I was probably, like, raising. I was probably like, oh, shit, man. I should have had that. But I was looking back at the video before I started commentating. Yo. That dude's head chunked off. I've never seen anything. That was like some Call of Duty World at War shit. But nevertheless, this is another black, uh, black light. I was about to say black ops. I don't even have black ops. Jesus. This is another black light retribution commentary. Um, yeah, I just want to get back into the basics, uh, why I got into PC gaming. Like I said in my last video, uh, I took a break from console for a while from PlayStation, and my accuracy has never been the same again. I used to have pinpoint accuracy on uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield, and then it slowly and slowly started degrading, which is the reason why I left console for a while anyway, because my aim started getting worse and worse. And then I accidentally pressed the wrong button right here. My dude starts to get like waving the finger as in taunting someone, and then I get fucking sniped of all people. And this whole game, there was I think there was like two people with snipers on the other team. Uh, it was really annoying, and then. I think after this, the dude put on explosive rounds and incendiary rounds. And so it was like a one-shot kill everywhere, and I get grenaded. But otherwise than that, yeah, that's the main reason why I got into uh, PC gaming. Plus, I just wanted to try something new. Uh, and I came come to realize this summer that most of the commentators that I watch were actually on PC. And so, like, uh, people like Pwnstar, uh, Rival X Factor, Level Cap, Syndicate, everyone... And, uh, it just, uh, I guess it kind of inspired me. And they were saying how how much better it is than console. Everything runs smoother if you have a banged out uh, system. This one isn't too banged out, but it's, it definitely handles better than console. You can upgrade even uh, consoles are left back from, like, technology from 2006. And you can upgrade a PC whenever you feel like it, as long as you have the income and the money to pay. And, uh, you can mod games. Uh, I almost got this two piece. I thought I had it. I was like, oh my god. But uh, yeah, you can mod, which is different from hacking. Hacking is hacking is actually destroying a game from the inside out. And modding is just like changing some of the features and adding extra stuff in that's, uh, that's better, I guess. And so there is a difference between hacking and modding, in my opinion. And uh, um, yeah. That's that, uh, like I said, you can upgrade whenever you want to, as long as you have a nice income and nice pay, and, uh, I don't know, it's, it's what you guys want, I personally like PC, even though I've been playing PlayStation since 2009, and I've been playing Xbox since 2007, so I've played Xbox and, uh, PlayStation 3, and from the both of them, I think PC is better, just simply because, uh, you could just do a lot more. I mean, on a console, sure, you can have your music, you can have this, that, and the other. But let's say you wanted to get into the YouTube business, and let's say you got it for Christmas. Uh, let's go buy Xbox, because it's more pricey. I think that by default, an Xbox is $200. Uh, it's $200. Let's say you want an Xbox Live for a year. That's like $60, so that's like $260 or $250, something like that. Most of the time, people get an extra controller to like play with siblings or friends and stuff another fail and usually people get one game and so all that total would probably be around what the fuck did I do I didn't even count it up to 260 what is that somewhere around four hundred dollars hold on let's say you wanted an HD capture card most of them are around two hundred dollars so that's an extra two hundred dollars that's around six hundred dollars or more if you wanted to do this YouTube stuff and so six hundred dollars that's crazy now, if you had a PC, on the other hand, uh, this one was around 320. We didn't buy a hard drive because uh, 
my friend, actually one of my family members works for a hospital and he gets free, um, he works for like hospitals and does computer shit for them. And so um, he gets free hard drives and stuff. So uh, I ripped one of his hard drives off of him. And, uh, and so the whole build cost this, uh, cost him around uh, 320. 320. You don't have to pay for online. The connections are really good as long as your in internet connection is stable. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. It costs 320. You don't have to buy any software. You can buy. You don't even have to buy any games. You can go pirate games if you're that poor. Um, I don't recommend it because I'm just a truthful person. I mean, I'll play them, but I personally won't download them. But uh, yeah, you can pirate games if you're poor or not wealthy enough to afford it. You can try before you buy that type of deal. Uh, there's a lot of free for plays. Uh, and like I said. The only thing I ever pirated that I would only recommend pirating would probably be like Fraps or DX Tory because you have to pay for those. And uh, unless you pirate it, like I just said. And so, um, I think that's it. All that stuff. You can get $600 worth of stuff for only $350, $260 at most. And so, I definitely think PC gaming is the way to go. You can put your your songs on there, your music, your movies, your videos, your pictures, uh, you can web browse, uh, multitask, you can do anything you want and this is a pretty good system. The only thing he has to do in the future is probably probably get a better graphics card and a better processor and after that he's done. He can upgrade whatever the fuck he wants after this. But um, oh yeah, the person I'm talking about is my nephew, he's also a commentator. Uh, I'll link his channel down in below. Uh, he got started because, I don't know, I guess he saw his uncle do it and he was like, man, I could do this. And so, but yeah, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, soon, maybe I'll do a, a dual commentary with him because we both live in the same house. He's my nephew. Like I said, his channel link will be in the description. He is the purple ninja. I am the black ninja. And, uh, we are a ninja family. And my little brother is actually the white ninja. And so I don't know why this ninja is full of, this family is full of ninjas, but, um, I see where this is going. I think my son might be a green ninja. No, I'm joking. But, uh, damn. This gameplay is coming up. Uh, we got victory. Was I in first or something? No, I was in third place. I don't even think we won. That was, uh, 11 and 10, I think that says. Can't see because Sony Vegas is so. made the video kind of small again. But as always, if you guys like this series, please thumbs it up. It helps me. It helps you comment, subscribe if you're new. Uh, there's plenty of gameplay coming out. For a while. So please take note of that. And this was Black Ninja. And I'll see you later.